it's Brie. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be filming a what is on my iPhone 11 video. I have the iPhone 11 in red in the case. And it's just like this glitter case and it's really good and protective for your phone. So not further ado, we're going to get started into the video. Okay, so when you come on my lock screen of my phone, oh my god, notifications. When you come to my lock screen, it's just a picture of like the sky and of like the clouds and I found this on Pinterest and I meant to say lock screen, okay. So when you come into my, oh, well, my lock, my home screen is like a picture of the sunset and the moon. So the first apps I have on my front page is FaceTime, Calendar, Photos, Camera, Mail, Cloud, Maps, Weather, Reminders, Notes, Docs, News, Books, App Store, Podcast, TV, Health, Home, Crawl, and Settings. And on the bottom right here, I have Messages, Phone, Safari, and I have Google. So when you come on my next page, these are the apps that I really mainly use most of the time. I have Find My iPhone, I have Watch, then I have Voice Memos, I have Calendar, I have the Apple Store, I have Clips, I don't really use Clips, I have Bible, I don't really use that. And that's just like the random apps that I have on my phone. Then you go to Education, these are the apps that I use for school. And it's student view. I use this to check my grade to see like where my grades are at, if they're good or bad. Then I have Duolingo is where you can learn a language. I am currently learning Spanish on that app. I was learning French, but you know, I never, I was actually doing really good and I was really further into it. But Spanish, I just started and I might go back to French, but I don't know. I have Schoology, I can't click on the app, but it's basically, um, like where all our courses is at for school. I have Quizlet, I can't click into that, but it's really good for studying. It's a really good life saver. I have Desmo calculators, which helps me with algebra, and it's just a good calculator app, and I use this to like solve my problems. I have Schoolcast, where you can put money into your school lunch account. Next, I have shopping. I have Amazon. Everyone knows what Amazon is, but I just like the app better than the website. So. Next, I have a shin. They have nice bathing suits and nice outfits. So, if you see a clothing haul coming soon from there, better watch out. But their stuff is basically nice, and look, all that is sold out. So. Next I have is YouTube. This is all the stuff that I use for YouTube and that I need. I have Gmail, all my stuff, all my YouTube emails and notifications. And this is like my main email comes from. Next I have is YouTube Studio. This is where I can like check all the comments. And we're at 356 subscribers. Cool. I just check on how my videos are doing. I have YouTube tracker where I can track my um, sub count and my watch hours and how far I am from YouTube monetization. I have TubeBuddy where I can place my videos in tags and see about the titles. Next I have this font tilt. This is how I make my thumbnails. So basically you just plan an image. So we're just going to do any color or any like thing then like this is what this is like all like the fonts you can use for it these are all the fonts that i have saved oh these are all the fonts that i have saved and these are the fonts i like this is the font that i use in my videos um for my thumbnails i use this one so next i have is Chrome. This is how I upload my videos to YouTube because it's, it's like the website version of it. And I'm sorry that all the notifications are keep coming up. Next, I have this home, which I have Amazon Alexa. I have Rookie as a remote for my TV. And then I have Lewis, wait, Lutis Learn. I don't know how to say it, but it's an app that I use for my LED lights. You can't even see my LED lights from here, from where I'm filming at. But, um, so, off on, uh, uh, I'm pretty 
controlling your whole face. This is like the LED lights. Change the color. We're gonna leave it on. Nah, not that color. We're gonna put y'all on blue. I had y'all set up in a good way. So now we're gonna have to do that again. This is basically what I can do. I can just change the colors. And sorry if y'all are like leaning. It's just that I can't put the tripod back where it was at. I have TikTok. Oh. I have TikTok. I have is Pinterest where I just search up and get a lot of my inspiration from. I'm trying to like wow, y'all back. I'm like please, but y'all are like leaning. Uh, uh. There we go. Y'all are good now. So this is where I get all my inspiration from. I have Instagram. You should have followed me in there. Next, I have this Depth Smash, which I don't really use anymore because TikTok basically took over it. Okay. Next, I have this Edit. I use a lot of editing apps. For like my thumbnails for pictures it's a lot so i have visco i mainly use this to make my thumbnails and uh oh my god okay no okay no 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 i mainly use this to have like i use filters and i love them so much okay next i have this eraser where i can use to png the background and there's like no background Next, I have this video stars where you can make edits. They're really simple and easy to make. Next, I have is Willow. Um, I make my backgrounds like this. I don't know if I'm gonna show it, but it's like a color background, and then it's like me on top of the background. That's how I make them. I have documents where I can save YouTube videos from YouTube. Next, I have this Lightroom, which I used to use a lot, and before I started using Visco more, but I like Visco better because like they have presets and it's just more easier. Next I have is iMovie. This is how I film and edit my video. This is the video that I was going to use, but the sound quality is horrible. But I don't know which one I'm just going to use yet, so. Next I have is FunMe. It's another one. I don't know. Um, is where you can make edits too. Next I have, oh, it's Pickstart. That's how I make my video, uh, my thumbnails too, which has like the stars. I'm gonna show you. Uh, if we can do this fast, okay. We're gonna just use that. We're gonna go to stickers. We're gonna go to stars, aesthetic stars. And then I just pick this one. Basically, how you do it, it's pretty simple. Next, I have is view why I make like that typewriter effect on my videos, on like, on like board is like next I have is Tezza um she has nice presets and now we're gonna go to music music I have music player I don't really use this but it's good I have SoundCloud I use it to I have Spotify I don't like Spotify I can't stand Spotify it's just Next, I have is Shazam. It's really good to listen to fun music. I have some music, the Apple Music. I mainly use this the most because it's like it's just good. Next, I have entertainment. I have YouTube, of course. My main source of 
entertainment you should go follow me you should go subscribe to me on youtube next i have netflix uh, i have to get out of there because it stops screen recording i have viewed um, i don't really use that i have hulu i don't use that i have abc i don't use that i have disney plus i don't use that i have tubu i don't use that i don't use that so on these bottom these bottom apps that i have right here i just undownloaded them and they don't i didn't put them in the folder yet i have pure q i have which is like a editing sort of app and then i have Romwe, which is like shin i don't even know how to say it but it's like that other app i showed, showed y'all earlier i have fonts which i make some really cute fonts but we're not paying i have uh, all symbols that's another like symbol app too but i hope y'all enjoyed today's video make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up click that subscribe button and i will see y'all in my next video <laughs>